the musicians and I have uh, partnered together to bring to the community the evidence and the science that shows music does make you feel better and it can make you think better. Specifically, since I'm a pediatrician, I do have some children who have language disorders, autism, uh, and other uh, developmental disorders. And the evidence clearly shows that having those children play an instrument or learn to play an instrument has some benefits on reading, cognitive development. And it really doesn't matter if they learn to play it well, just the act of practicing and playing actually causes some augmentation of the brain and development of certain skills. Yes, music definitely can reduce pain, and there's been a lot of studies that have shown this, particularly in children who are getting procedures, that providing these children with music through iPods, they tend to tolerate the procedures a lot better. The music definitely has a calming effect on uh, family members as they're waiting for loved ones, and also it's been found that it has a calming effect on surgeons in the operating room. Many of our operating rooms have uh, sound bars where the surgeons can actually connect their iPods to and listen to calming music, particularly for adults and some of our elderly who have Alzheimer's. We know that music does seem to calm them down and actually improve some of the behaviors that they may have. And a, a number of our orchestra members actually volunteer at some of the senior living centers, and they've noted that when they've played for the uh, residents of the uh, senior living center, they tended to calm down and that effect lasted for two hours after they stopped. Uh, I think our take home message is to answer the question, yes, music can make you feel better and yes, musical training can make you think better.